I know this is not the type of shit I normally make, but I thought this whole thing was funny to share, so cry about it. I'm the developer of Saturn Studio and I use Arch Linux. By the way, it's my daily driving operating system. Now, you might be thinking, with the big majority of people using Windows, how do you ensure the program works well on Windows? To that I say, I don't. Well, mostly. There are some cases where the Windows version breaks, while the Linux version works just fine. If I want to debug Saturn Studio on Windows efficiently, I need a virtual machine, preferably a performant one. At first, I obviously went with an open source solution, a program called VirtualBox. So I grabbed the Windows ISO from Microsoft's website, created a new VM, installed Windows, and... It's slow as fuck. VirtualBox doesn't support 3D acceleration on Windows guests, which is pretty bad since everything on Windows will be rendered via software, with no graphical acceleration. No, this will make everything like sluggish there. since the CPU is well, terrible well, at computing well, graphics quickly. Now, there is a virtual machine solution that does support 3D acceleration on Windows, called VMware, but it's what? proprietary. No. Since the open source way doesn't work as I want it to, I'll have to go with the proprietary alternative. I did the exact same steps and... Yeah, it's a lot better. There were still some annoying things like the VM straight up clogging my computer resources so much that I had to restart my computer. And you could still certainly feel the VM sluggishness. Now, both VM solutions are what are called Type 2 hypervisors, where the VM has to go through the host OS first in order to communicate with the hardware which, as you might guess, is very slow. There's another open source solution called Kimu, yes, that's how I pronounce it, is a type 1 hypervisor, meaning it communicates directly with the hardware. After learning that, I installed Kimu and Vert Manager on my system, installed Windows on it, and we're back to the VMs being slow as fuck. How come? Well, the issue is the exact same as with VirtualBox, no 3D acceleration. Instead, if you want to have some kind of graphics acceleration, you have to pass in your GPU to the VM. Attempting to do that resulted in no signal on my monitor after starting the VM. This makes a lot of sense actually. Imagine this VM as a separate computer. This computer is running Linux, and this computer is running Windows. Passing through the GPU will make the Windows computer borrow the GPU from the Linux computer. So it's as if the Windows computer disconnected your GPU and connected it to itself, which obviously produces a black screen since the GPU got disconnected. I didn't really have a second GPU, nor a motherboard with two PCIe X16 slots for two GPUs. But then... Christmas came and went and I got some money to buy a new CPU, an AMD Ryzen 7 5700G. And it being marked G means that there's an integrated graphics chip on this thing. And I naively thought, oh, this will surely work with GPU pass-through. Except my computer did not boot after installing the new CPU. Turns out, it was unsupported by my motherboard. I had to wait a bit more till my birthday, where I got even more money. With this money, I bought a new motherboard, but also a new GPU and PSU. I also got extra RAM and a 1TB NVMe for good measure. The new motherboard and PSU arrived soon, so I swapped it and installed a new CPU. It didn't work. The motherboard supported the CPU just after a BIOS update, and I didn't have a virgin AMD CPU to update the BIOS with. So after a quick refund, I bought a more expensive motherboard with support for 1st gen through 5th gen AMD CPUs. And me having a Ryzen 3 1200 to update the BIOS with, I bought it. Here's the thing about this motherboard though. It has two PCIe X16 slots, and at the time, I was still intending on passing through the AMD iGPU. This will come into play later. After the new motherboard arrived, I kept the 1200 in to update the BIOS, and then I checked the version. It was already on a version that supports 5th gen AMD CPUs. I then quickly swapped the CPU and... Would you look at that, it works. My OS being Linux, I didn't have to reinstall it unlike Windows, which was a massive win. Yeah, fuck you Windows user. Anyways, I have a friend who got this exact CPU after the upgrade. His Windows booted for three hours. His Linux Fast installation booted in boy. mere seconds. Of course, he quickly deleted the Windows partition after that experience. 
Anyways, after forcing the iGPU to use the VFIO PCIe driver, which is required for pass-through, then passing through the iGPU and installing the drivers, it didn't work. I got the infamous error 43, and I couldn't fix this at all. Although people were successful, I couldn't get it to work myself, and I struggled to find a good tutorial on this topic. The new GPU arrived. After I removed my old NVIDIA GPU and connected the new one, I installed Sway on my desktop. And after a quick rise session, it looked like something I was reasonably happy with. Until I realized something. My motherboard has two PCIe X16 slots. And I have an extra GPU to plug in there. So I did. Around this time I got my RAM sticks and NVMe as well. And yeah, once again, I didn't have to reinstall my entire OS. I then forced the GPU to use Wi-Fi IO PCIe again and passed this GPU through. It complained about IO MMU groups. Checking the group the GPU was in, yeah, it was together with all this other stuff. And I couldn't pass through the GPU without passing through all this other stuff first. After a bit of research, I needed to add this kernel parameter, which should fix the IO MMU group issue. It didn't work. Turns out, the stock Arch Linux kernel doesn't have the ACS override patch in. I searched on the AUR, and I found the Linux Wi-Fi IO kernel, which is basically the Arch Linux kernel except it has the ACS override patch in. After compiling this kernel, which took about half an hour, I now had workable IO MMU groups. Now that the GPU was connected to the VM, I could download and install the drivers. By that I mean getting 7-zip, extracting the EXE and installing the drivers manually. After a reboot, it was still running like shit. I've learned that I actually needed to plug in a second monitor into the GPU and then pass in through a second mouse and keyboard since you couldn't control the VM through a virtual screen anymore. Luckily I didn't have to do all that. I just had to get this application called Looking Glass. I went onto their website and got the Windows host installer which installed the Looking Glass host onto the VM and something called the IV Schmem driver, whatever that means. After that I pasted in this piece of text into the VM config, boot up the system and... Error. Permission denied, well fuck you, I'm doing 777 on this shit. It works, except not quite. I'm still stuck on the screen with it saying that it's connecting to the host. However, once again, there's a software solution. A virtual display driver. So I got IDD sample driver, because this guy on reddit said so. After installing that through the software rendered VM again, rebooting, changing it to headless, starting looking glass, and... It works! There were desktop effects, everything was smooth, it was perfect. Anyways, now that I had a pretty good and performant Windows VM, I had to unwindowsify it. I downloaded Firefox, activated Windows, set dark mode, and downloaded MSYS2. I then played Minecraft Bedrock in a VC with my friends, and yeah, I got some bug rock moments. Yeah. What? I think you've. What the? <laughs> Why did I spawn in water? What the? <laughs> Wait, why is he on fire? Oh, there's a fucking baby zombie. Bro, are you kidding me? Did, did this guy just fucking forget that I'm there? I forgot. Dementia as golem. Oh. Wait, what is that? What is that? Why, 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 why? Hey, why, why? why? Oh. What, what, what oh. the fuck is that? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck is? Is that a shipwreck? A Wait, ship, what? Bro? Save the seat. Save the seat. Bro, it's that literally might be floating in the air. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? Save the seat. Wait, Shut I'll go look hell. in this ring portal first. After that goof, I just compiled Saturn Studio, and yeah, that worked. Then I ran Neo Fetch for the funny, and then uh, uh, I'm bored of it now.